And we're back. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the second part of the finale of Olympus Overdrive. Okay, so we're still in the legwork phase. I'm uh, just going to get started. We just did all of our, um, at the start of the mission moves. And, uh, yeah. So we're in the the scene of the Great Expectations. What do you guys want to do? Um, so I think Becky, uh, as, as everything, so when Miss Paladin's left, um, and everyone's just kind of sitting and, like, absorbing everything, Becky moves over to, to Matt. I guess we were already standing next to each other. Yeah. Um, and, and she, like, grabs your arm and turns around from everyone else. Um, uh, and says, uh, something that's intelligent in the Matrix. I just, like, stop you there and just, like, point to my eye. Um, it's not in my laptop when we were doing whatever it is we were doing three days ago. Does it mean anything to say that this thing is like chasing cats and dogs? Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. It's code speak. I think we, we both looked down at Flynn. He's just like, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I looked down and was like, Good boy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, mm. um, I think we should keep this to ourselves for now. For now. Maybe okay. fortune. Maybe fortune can know. Um, the, the pacing, like Dickens, has been like since Miss Paladin left. He went from the picture of cool, calm, and collected to like nervous energy, um, okay. and has been pacing like back and forth across the other side of the room, like. Um, yeah, Dickens is distracted. There is too much going on that Dickens can't eavesdrop on this conversation, and he isn't trying. And he's just like tossing the like the brandy glass he had between each hand, and then he stops and like puts down the table as they finish this chat because dramatic timing. Um, and goes, "All right, team. We have too much wrapped up in this, and I'm sure we have discussions to have tomorrow morning." that I'm sure will get unpleasant in many cases and deeply personal in regards to my character. But for today... Dickens, tomorrow, I'm never speaking you, to you again. Well, that seems reasonable. I'm sure that that will last right up until you need someone to help you with your story. Regardless, we can make threats and be, act good on them when the dust settles. Today, we have a planet to save, a family to save, and a race to win. Because if we don't do all of those things, several of us are going to be either ruined, sad, or dead. And in fact, if we don't do one of those things, everyone on this planet will be dead. So, we need to find a strange sentient machine. Matt, I'm on I think it. you're the only person who's even going to understand what that means. I thought a few ideas. Take what you need. Come to us if you, if I, if you, if I can help in any way. If you think I might know somebody, let me know. I think you might know someone, and I look over at Fortune. <laughs> um, well, so, so um, I, I I had an idea that maybe um, so Becky looks at Fortune says, Fortune, I think maybe we should try and find out what this thing wants. I was. Uh thinking of retrieving Charlie's dearly beloved, but um, I am amenable to possibilities. If we, win believe... the race, if we win the race, I think that'll sort itself out. I just I just look at Matt like, oh, sweet summer child. Yeah. <laughs> that is not how men like Big Papa work. The, the simultaneous, like the two minute yeah. right the room, look at the guy mm -hmm. who doesn't deal with people and go, oh. And, um, oh, honey. <laughs> Dickens like, goes, yeah. he's going to be distracted. Bless your soul. We can just show up at his place. D Dickens kind of um, goes, on the subject of Big Papa and Charlie's dear family, I believe I can get us aboard the ship where Big Papa is and ask him some very direct and personal questions about his interference in our current lives. Charlie, you're free to accompany me if you so desire. I have learnt against telling you what to do. You might be too emotionally charged to join us in this particular escapade. I worry for your safety and mine, but I won't stop you. Yeah, you kind of have a race. Um, 
Yeah, how, how, how long is it until the race starts? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, you won't be doing much after the leg work in terms so, of time. So it's like the leg work clock, Charlie has to walk and around. When the mission clock starts, Charlie's going to be in the race. Basically, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's our timer. So I yeah, have no idea to frame how long that might be. Well, it's the thing of like, it's, it's pretty it's soon. Stat. Hours. Yeah. Yeah. It's like we are it's literally hours, hours, yeah, okay. hours. Yeah. Is the yeah. Best way it's, it. it's like six a.m. now. At midday, you need to be by your yeah. car at the track, and probably Matt needs to be there too. Probably the other three yeah. of us can act kind of independently, but like mm -hmm. the engineer, the driver, and the car need to be in the place by midday for a race to start. Like one, so it's like yeah. I turn to Charlie and go, "I will try and get us aboard the Mer the Mirror of Mercury, so we can have a discussion with Big Papa. Do you want to come with me?" Bear in mind that if you do that, you're going to be... That is all you can do before the race begins. Um, Charlie, uh, Charlie's quiet. Uh, he's been thinking. And I, and I think Charlie pipes up now. He's like, there's nothing higher on my priority list than winning that race. If you deal with this big papa thing, if it interferes in any way, I will find you, Dickens. I will kill you. My good man, Big Papa intends to interfere in your race. A man like that doesn't make adjustments to his bets. When I'm behind the wheel of a car, God himself can try to kill me. But watch him try. And, uh, and I'm going <laughs> to be like, 11 o'clock, sharp, be there. And then um, I say, if Mars blows up, I will be off this planet before that happens. Yeah. I won't give two shits. You're all criminals anyway. Um, do you leave or? Is the yeah, I, I think I think Charlie makes his exit there. The man on the ground preaches what the gods would do, while someone plots his demise from the heavens. I think this is the definition of hubris. Um, maybe not the and, original sentiment. Yeah, and for and fortune just like completely ignores this nonsense. Yeah, and uh, is like Miss Barker. Fortune, you had some thoughts. Let's talk. Yeah, so so, so Becky takes takes Fortune, sort of. D Dickens will leave to make his call. Yeah. Um, yeah, me, and Becky, and Fortune will go into like another room. Um, yeah, to talk private. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I like give give Flynn like a pat and then like do the the chin chin point to uh, to scoop. Mm -hmm. Like, you'd be good. Um, yeah, so, 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 so Fortune, um, when we were, when we were trying to find this mechanic a few days ago, we, I tried digging quite deep into some brief free archives. I got locked out. And then something, someone, got me in. I think this someone has also been helping Matt finding his rival. Hmm. I think this something or someone may be what we're looking for. The question then becomes, why? It has taken such a favorable interest in us. Exactly. Fortune, I don't think we can hand this thing over to Brie Free. Where, whatever it is. They they made it, but if it's if it's alive, if it, it if it can think and it can make its own decisions, doesn't it deserve to choose? Oh, I'm curious See, if that's here's a thing. the thing, Watch though. Your yeah, you're making this line of argument to a professional manipulator. <laughs> I'm just so um, excited to fast talk an AI. <laughs> yeah. Um. Fuck. I. I think Fortune's face is just like unreadable. I think like they just like nod as if to recognize that you've said something. Yes. But there's yeah. no like immediate read on their reaction. If you want to like assess or something. Um. um 
Or like, is is there a reader charged person type move in this game, or does that not exist? I don't think there is actually. There's there's no. reader situation, but there's no reader person. Yeah, that's Which, very telling um, about the assess, cyberpunk genre. Is when Fascinating you emission. A, assess is when you closely study a person, place, or situation. Okay. Yeah. Um, but, but like, I, people not are like, objects. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The questions are not are not going to. Yeah. Look, I think. So yeah, I, th I think you've, I think you've seen Fortune in action enough. Um, uh, Scoop has, mm -hmm. you know that like, they certainly don't believe like fundamentally that like personhood is sacrosanct, right? Mm -hmm. Like they kill people. That that is yeah. a thing yeah, that yeah. they have done in their life. They are uh, yeah, so twenty one people. Like, they are also 21 yeah. people simultaneously, yeah. perhaps. So, like, yeah. it's complicated. But, like, they are certainly sympathetic to the argument, right? Like, mm -hmm. yeah. The, the, the job doesn't mention anything about this creature. And, like... I have a question. Is this, yeah. then, Scoop trying to read you to understand your reaction? Or is this Scoop trying to fast-talk you yeah. into believing, into, like believing her. i actually think that might be what's going on i think i yeah. think like fortune is open to be persuaded um but not automatically on board do you know what i'd really really love i'd really really love to have one more xp and then take the freaking uh facetime no the uh what, what's the playbook the one that's the the one that has a cult uh, uh, yeah, push yeah. Uh, the pusher, take a pusher move that's like the one that's like convince someone to believe in your mission. The, the, yeah. you, mean, you, mean, you mean the one that's I would like a girlfriend now? <laughs> Just the single best use that move has ever had. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, yeah, I, th I think that maybe this is a that maybe this is a fast talk. All right, cool. Yeah. Um, so you so, know who Becky is. Yeah. Yes. Um, so so I get my plus one because I'm famous. Yep. I, I am uh, aware that you exist. Yes. Um, okay, let me let me just have a quick look at it's roll plus die, or, and I don't have anything that changes that. So, so it's plus one with a plus one. Yeah, no, that's that's real bad. That's, that's well, so that's so. Yeah. What? Okay, I so see. they're really bad at persuading you, right? Um, I mean, I think Becky feels like she's done a very good job. Mm. Yeah, like Be Becky feels like she's so she's she's being like, no, could this thing, this thing could totally be alive, and things that are alive have. Can I, can I help? And yeah, and, and like, there's not and, enough and, help. and you know, and Fortune is like not like nods yeah. thoughtfully, and then like smiles and is like, because like Flynn, Flynn it's an is interesting there. point. Flynn is not like. Ideal is in Flynn, and Flynn is a living thing. So can I roll to my link with Scoop? Uh, you I, wouldn't get I her to a seven. Five, so we can't get to a seven. Yeah, like mechanically, seven. you can't take it up to the next step yeah. of six. I thought it was a six. Never mind. Sorry. Uh, I no mean, problem. It's been a hard minute since we played. Yeah, so, I, so I, I, I think what happens here is I think Becky uh, genuinely believes that she has swayed Sunrise, in, yeah. uh, not uh, Fortune in this regard, mm. but um, yeah... Mm. I, I would love that if we had the time I would love to have had a flashback to a conversation between Fortune and Dickens at this point where I've been like here's everything that's happened and why maybe Scoop isn't the person to trust at the moment because her blood runs too hot on these things <laughs> um, as the two like sharks of the group are like ah, these, no. these hot blooded passionate people <laughs> it's ridiculous yeah. um, caring about human life what? Andrew have you how much detail did you uh, mention uh, your, like, very first exchange with Ideal in? Like, have we maybe seen the chat logs from that? Um, Because I have a cool thought, but it relies on knowledge that my character might not have. I think you guys know that we got, like, we got contacted by Ideal for a mission. But that was about it. Yep. Like, I'm... All right, cool. Maybe the like the most you guys know is that I'm Ideal's good dog right now. Did you Okay, so here's my question. Did you mention the emoji thing? That is my specific question. Oh yeah, totally. Are we Okay, so we're aware of that mannerism? Right. Yeah, so for, so Fortune like 
you know, nods thoughtfully and like smiles and then like very gently redirects the conversation back to like the matter at hand mm. and is like, if we're going to convince it to help prevent, and they just spread their hands expansively to indicate just the destruction of Mars at large. <laughs> then we need it to trust it. We need to understand it. Matt said it used emoji. God, I hate emoji. Called him good dog, word games. These are not the actions of an adult mind. These are the actions of a child. And that, I think, is how we need to relate to it. You're right. And that's why we need to keep it safe. Um, I think that's probably the scene. Yeah, all right. Yeah. yeah. So let's move to us doing stuff so i want to i want to hit the street and i want to use my contact of um miss paladin to get me a private audience with big papa aboard the mirror of mercury <laughs> Ooh, that's gonna be very difficult um is, is yeah. it a thing she can do no if it's not it's a thing not, she... it's it's that's outside her purview okay all right in which case, I have other moves for this, uh, Eric. I think you can deny me because I met. Um, there has been yeah. Wolfgang Batman Senior at the party. Yep. So I would like to use the move I know people. Um, and I would like to there declare that Wolf Wolfgang Batman Senior is uh, is a contact of mine. Uh, and I get to roll style. Nine. That's a nine. Nine. Well, I mean, that, this makes sense. So, okay, seven to nine. I've never met. So, it's I've never met them before. They're an unknown quantity. This is literally just we traded business cards at that yeah. party. Okay. We don't know each other. Makes sense. You came there as a guest of um of Gemini, so that makes sense that yeah uh, that you're in those circles. So yeah, yeah. This is the first time you're cashing in on that favor, right? Uh, so I'm gonna add him, Wolfgang Senior, to my contacts, and then I'm gonna hit the street to get me that audience. Um, yeah. All right, so hit the street is style, right? Yeah. yeah. Three, seven, nine. That's a nine Ten. again. Would anyone like to help me? This is the this is the important one to help me. Like if, I don't know how you might. Um, I think I, in one guise or another, might have had contact with this person before. So it's like you provide me if with Eric business. feels like that's reasonable. I actually it's not reasonable. Um you're All talking right. about the C the complete like head CEO yeah. of Breathe Free. I don't think that's I don't think This is this is the man who is this is the man. The, he, is, he 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 owns his Mars. His son, his son perhaps, but not not him. What are you no. trying to do with this? Like what do you need to help? Uh, I want him to get me basically like because I know that Big Papa is on the mirror, the mirror of Mercury. I want him to put me, Big Papa, and no one else in a room. Um, Becky can help. Mm. Um, <laughs> <is she> willing <laughs> <to>? so, <laughs> Sophie in chat, I have a solution. Roll better. Yeah. <laughs> I just gotta get better at role-playing games, guys. Yes, get better. Harsh. Uh, you gotta talk good. more shit. <laughs> gotta roll double sixes all the time. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. compare my roles to everyone else's. <laughs> Um, Be Becky, Becky can Becky can help. She's got um, uh, she's got contacts in basically like she's, uh, got, she's famous. She's famous. She has a reputation. He's heard of her. Famous, but mm. is there anything about the fact that corporate? I mean, relationship, okay. your ideals. Is there anything there that we should be worried about? Mm. I have I have a question. Um, so, Fortune and Becky are the usual people who would help Dickens, but Matt could help by being like, because Matt and the son know each other, I believe. Yeah. 
but being yeah. like, hey, you should yeah. trust your dad to make this meeting happen. He doesn't and like also, me. also, Charlie could help by being like, calling the person who owns his leash and being like, hey, yeah. I, I won't race for you unless you take this meeting. That's very reasonable. Working, getting, trying to meet up with Bachman Jr. to could then get convinced, uh, convince them to get a meeting with Bachman Sr. is reasonable. That's something you could definitely do. Yeah, I, I right. Uh, I think I think I've, I've I've already rolled the move, so I've now said I'm contacting Bachman Sr. I can't take that back. Yeah, because I, the, rule, the the apocalypse yeah, I know. rules. I've you, done it. Dude, I've done you it. did the, you you said the yeah. thing and yeah. did, you you did so, the but, thing, but, so yeah. you did it. Like, yeah. Charlie's help can be him through the sun. Yeah. yeah Ch Char Charlie could pressure um could put could help by getting in touch with Big Papa and saying a big papa then want wanting to take the meeting. Is is uh, my suggestion for Charlie. And like I'm acting in Charlie's interest at the moment, so I think it's the only time in all five episodes where Charlie might help Dickens. But I'd have to like, how would I even know that this is a thing? Because I'm not even I mean, I'm not proximity close. I mean, I, I told you I was going to try and do this to help you. So you you could just well, after you left in a huff, or like, after you like slammed the door, you could have been like, you could have sent an angry text to um uh to Big Papa. And like the thing is that like it can be angry and provocative, and depending upon your role, that could be either like a thing that helps me get the meeting or a thing that fucks you up. I mean, as far as also, I mean, the other problem though, I I don't have a phone as far as I know. Fair. Yeah. I mean, it could be a call. Like you could have got the, the the pay phone in the, yeah. the Great Expectations that they ATM, angry. The ATM phones. Yeah, um, but it's just think of like you you were because I, I even. Yeah, because like I think if this is you helping, this is you intentionally helping Dickens. Totally. This is you being angry at Big Papa and leaving him an angry voicemail. And it's like if you roll well, it helps me get the meeting. If you roll poorly, it fucks us all over. Yeah, I'm just trying to like narratively say like why Charlie would randomly talk to Big Papa about. This. I, I think it's just a case of your. Yeah, it's it's like your wife turned up. Trying to justify angry. it to myself yeah. over why I would do this. I yeah. mean, this is I kind of a stretch. Is... It's, I'm, I'm saying this is kind of a stretch. Okay. Yeah, I, honestly, I think Matt makes more sense. I think if it's yeah. going to happen, yeah. I think it makes more okay. sense coming from Matt. All right. And I think it's up to Drummer Boy. Hmm. If you want to see this meeting. Interfere. Do it. I mean, interfering won't stop me. Yeah. I'm a nine. If enough of us do it, well, no. two of you have to fuck with me <laughs> to make this happen. Which I don't know why. If you want to do that, fucking go for it. Because I think Eric would just be like, "The meeting happens and you die." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's that scene in at the end of John Wick where the lady assassin goes to the meeting with Winston, and yeah. then he just has her executed. <laughs> um a dude comes out from behind every pillar and shoots me in the head. God, John Wick is such a good movie. So good. I need well, to run a John Wick game. This I is can what try, I, I can try to do the links anyway. If it fails, it fails. But yeah, I mean, I think the way it happens is like. I think the vector is. I have. Oh, he's the only person on Mars who stared down the barrel of my tank and lived. Hmm. So it's like. Remember me? You might not remember me, actually. You might, might, might remember the tank. Yeah. Meet, I mean, and I'll, I'll send him, like, a meet me here, but it won't be me, it'll be you. Okay, okay. Oh. I like okay. it. So yeah, you're going to actively pressure Big Papa. Do it. Yeah, well, like, like has, he been, has he been scared ever? Seven. Yes. Seven. When you put a you're in it. tank in his face. But you're now implicated... <laughs> I mean, yeah, so yeah. it's... Well, he knows it's the tank guy. Yeah. He's probably going to yeah. be like, get after this guy. He's he's implicated in, in my move. So I guess the thing is, he knows Matt and me are tangentially related. <laughs> Congratulations, Matt. Yes, they You're do. now in bed with me. Um, I'm going to just... Ooh. Okay, I know what it's going to be. All over these sheets. If this right. is be in. So, Eric... Yes. Tell me about the wonderful living room of the Mirror of Mercury. How do you get up to the Mirror of Mercury? I mean, because the way this worked I out is that, like, up, if, he, yeah. if Papa wants to meet me, no, like, 
Well, but like, yeah, yeah, like Matt pressured Big Papa into taking the meeting. I contacted Buckman Senior into letting me on the ship. So like Buckman Senior, after he's at like, if Big Papa comes to Buckman Senior, he says, yeah, I'll take the meeting. So you ask, so, so, like, so it's clear. It's a nice ship. Yeah. So it's clear to me, like you just asked Bachman Singer, uh, Singer, <laughs> Senior, Bachman Singer, Senior, to arrange a meeting for some lower people. No, I asked Bachman Senior to put me, Big Papa, and no people with guns in a room. That was that was my request to him, and Matt pressured. What did you say to them to make this work? Like, could you uh, imagine ordering a CEO to do anything? I mean, yeah, so it's just like, I guess the, so, the call so is... So how uh, did you succeed? What does that look like? Like, that's... Okay, so let's let's play out that call. I'm then. having a hard time figuring out what the living room looks like because I need to, cause that what this is entirely predicated on, on this part, yeah. right? Yeah, okay, so, so, so Matt's help was he sent an ominous message to Big Papa to tell him to accept the meeting. We're happy with that yeah. bit. So let's, yeah. We can play out the call with, uh, with Batman Senior. Of um, I just yeah, I like walk up to the side of the room. I pull out the business card, and I dial the number. And I go, uh, Mr. Barkman. Sorry to disturb you so early in the morning, but you know, big day, big day, all sorts of business to yeah. be done. Raise, yeah, it's game day, son. Exactly. Nothing, nothing truly ignites the spirits like a good, good early morning, seeing the dawn on the horizon, knowing contest is in the air. Hmm? I had a favor to ask you. Uh, a business associate of mine, a uh, goes by Big Papa. Truly, truly, the Martians love their melodrama. He's aboard your ship, the Mirror of Mercury. I was hoping you could put the two of us in a room. I feel like you catch him off guard with that request, and he says, "I'm sorry, son. Can you say that name one more time for me?" Big uh, he Papa. Goes by he goes by Big Papa. I know these Martians. Just truly, uh, do I know his real name? I don't think Player so. Player level. Hmm. No. Uh, here's the thing. I don't. I do have a ten. You, you. This is actually really interesting because I don't think. Okay, hold on. All right. Yeah. No. Of course, he sets up that meeting. Yeah. I mean, uh, he's the, yeah. He's the CEO of Breathe Free. He knows this dude's Martian nickname. If he's, yeah, if he's... no, he's like, huh, that's that's interesting. Thank you for telling me about that, son. Huh. Oh, sure. No. Oh, I feel I've given you a little tidbit for free. I do hope you'll repay the favor someday, sir. But anyway, I'm going to head to the spaceport now. I can rely on if I drop my name, he'll let me yeah. aboard. Yeah, I'll take care of it. Thank oh. you, sir. Always, a, and it's been a pleasure working with you. I hope to do it more often. Now you rolled a ten, so you get exactly what you wanted, right? Total. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. Uh, with the help, I get ten. All right, that's fine. Um, but then we we when, oh, uh, the, 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 the 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 phone hangs up, and then we hear this is why because then we hear in the other room, um, uh, uh wherever the the CEO is, right, wherever mm. Bachman is, it's like Denise, like it calls his secretary in, you know, to um and. You know, it's they're clearly going to do something about this meeting and what's going on on the ship at some other point, right? All right. But you're okay. You're okay for now. Okay. Um. So yeah. Um. Do you want to jump to the meeting with me, maybe Papa? Or do we want to have someone else do a thing? I want to leak some information to Hacker Central. I mean, I feel like this is a good. My, my scene is a good one to end the legwork phase. So yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, let's let's do that. So we're going to jump over to the race, right? Basically, I want to like add some disruptors so if people are trying to mess with it, they're going to get they're going to get So let's Yeah, let's let's, let's do all our legwork. We'll end the legwork clock with with me talking to Big Papa and then we'll jump into mission. Okay. So, so was there any y'all stuff? There's no there's no chance for me to do this during the mission. Okay. So then let's, let's do this now. Like I and need what to. What is it that you're doing? You're I'm going leaking Wolf Wolfgang Bachman Jr.'s name and status and resume or like CV type of thing, like what he's done, how he's fucked up Mars, to all the Martian hacker networks that I know. Oh shit! On, okay. 
I'm also linking him to Big Papa. Because, like, Breathe Free and Big Papa have been bed in bed now. The people deserve to know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, that's good. We see that. We see that send. We see the transmission uh, complete sign. I mean, is that that's not a move or anything, right? That you just you just doing that, right? That's just like contacting one of my contacts, yeah. Rocco, from the from this first or second mm -hmm. uh, mission, and then yeah, that's it for that. Okay, interesting. I'm not making a move. I'm just like interfering with some shit. Hopefully. Yeah. Um. So. I have an idea. Mm -hmm. um, in in the in an attempt to lure out ideal, um, Becky is going to uh, write a real short, um, basically like a blog post, um, which is just going to be filled with like cryptic. Um, references to Ideal. Um, you mean one of your posts on the Daily Bark? No. <laughs> um, I don't actually know, like, I don't know what, what the name of whatever newspaper Becky works for is, but um, I feel like it's got a good it's got a good Martian name. Um, Becky fucking Barker Network. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Becky no, fucking Becky like fucking like Barker a... dot com dot ma. <laughs> yeah, this, this is on her um uh her like private like blog network. Mm -hmm. uh, her private BBS. Mm -hmm. Um and so she's she's basically writing like people who would probably probably read this and be like, oh my god, Becky's released an article on race day. I bet this is really interesting. And then it's just about like a dog show. <laughs> Cats invited. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it, it, it's it, like a pet it's lovers about... meetup. And what's your intention of doing this? Like, what are you trying to hope? What do you hope to achieve by doing writing this blog? I, I'm hoping by putting this blog post up that Ideal will contact me. So you're trying? Is this your hit the street? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you want to declare the contact of Ideal? Yeah, we want to draw ideal to us so that we don't have to go looking, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Sure. Um, okay. Um, so I will. Um, and ideal knows who I am. Obviously. Yes. So, yeah. so I have I have a plus one. It's important. Um, do the thing. A nine. Nine. Um, I don't know if anyone can. can uh, uh, I'm willing. I'm willing to provide help. Yeah. I think it. I think it's like I proofread the blog post, right? Like, <laughs> like I am the yeah. person who professionally like <laughs> manipulates <laughs> charms <laughs> and provokes people. Well, yeah, and so I, I read it. over it and I'm like, tighten up the wording there, add an emoji here. Mm -hmm. like, His answering yeah. is dependent upon grammar. Like, no, no, I can't. It's a double negative. I can't answer this. I mean, I don't think it's about grammar. It's about, like, expression. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so Fortune has already identified that <laughs> ideal is childlike. And so it's about Fortune coming in and being like, okay, so because... We've got we, a target. Yeah. Yeah, because, because we understand that the ideal is acting in a childish way, these are the things we need to change. Um, yeah. Because obviously Becky's a professional like writer. She can't she can't write in emoji. This is the first article to appear on Becky's blog that includes the colon p emoji. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yes, Eric. Does that sound reasonable to you? That definitely sounds reasonable. Um, cool. And I'm so, gonna roll yeah. it then. Do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, nine. Nine. So the the. The fingerprints of fortune are indelible from this post, but yeah, right. Because like yep. to an AI that has access to all of Mars's information, yeah. like yep. fortune mm -hmm. is a presence, like a cohesive one, not just 21 different ones. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They could read all the similarities in behavior. Yeah, exactly. 
Ah, that's so good. Perfect. So this is when we see... Um, how does it communicate back to you? What's the channel that allows us to communicate here? Because it's like, you wrote the webpage and it wants to um, talk to you. Does it, it just bring up like a, like a script? Does it send the cat? Like... Yeah. Of course. Like in like a terminal or something, it, it just shows up and it's, you know, the ASCII thing of a cat. And it shows it shows like one cat. It's with like clippy. Tail one it's way, like and clippy. The other one's a tail it's the other clippy, way. but it's a cat. Wait, no, no, no. I know what it is. Um, so we know we we sort of established that um, people get people in the lower grounds get information through like text feeds on like screens. Big so billboards. Be yeah. Yeah, yeah. Be Becky is like like walking down a street, um, and just like ASCII cats start appearing on all of these text screens <laughs> um and then uh and she takes that as a cue to like like go and like get her laptop yeah um i mean they're like, like the screens are lighting up towards like they go like down the street and then around a corner and then down yeah, another corner. exactly yeah. it's leading you yeah yeah. yeah, leading me to somewhere to like plug in my laptop and. And that's a ten. Can fortune? A nine, can right? fortune also yeah. be in this scene? Yeah, yeah. It makes sense because like, you were like, doing it is... together. Like you were like, bringing the yeah, block pocket together. Yeah, this is Becky and fortune and like shit. going yeah. for a nice walk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. this is we got some yeah. space pizza. It was nice. Yeah. It's cool. 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 So. Yeah, okay, I feel like this is the point then, okay. Um, yeah, I feel like anything past this is now mission. So I feel like yeah. we should cut back to, we should cut back to Dickens' meeting. If no one else has anything. And give me, give me that Dickens' sweet, meeting sweet, and Charlie's race are the two things we gotta do. Is Charlie's race part of the legwork clock or is it part of the mission? No, it's actually its own separate clock thing. That it's I mean, happening concurrently. However, uh, um, I guess yeah. part, of like phase, yeah. part of the legwork phase, part of the legwork phase should be like Matt and Charlie meeting at the garage the the, the workshop well it's, it's probably yeah, is there anything you want to say before the race begins matt probably and every everything is like we're actually like on the track we're getting we're wheeling the brooklyn out on like one of those little carriages things that goes sideways yeah. to the to the like bracket starting yeah yeah so we're, we're just is like our last chance to have a conversation before the grace yeah charlie what color? Yeah, uh, what color is the Brooklyn again? Isn't it yellow with a black stripe? Uh, I think so. I think it's. I think it's yellow and black. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But it, I did a little bit since I added the aggressive tag. It looks super badass now. It it's looks like a like, wasp. You put a spoiler on it. <laughs> I mean, it's it looks like, like a. Like, it looks like a wasp. It has the visual color. silhouette of like a really angry wasp. More or less. Yeah. Yeah. So it's probably like you up. It's, it's got the additional like steel plating now. That's probably just unpainted because you just put them on. So it's yeah. like slightly Frankensteined a little bit now too. And those are like black carbon fiber because that's how they came. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, so now it's just like more. It totally just looks aggressive. It no longer looks like Charlie. It looks like Charlie if Charlie's like drunk and angry. Yeah. So it looks like Charlie's current physical appearance as well. <laughs> uh, and, and everyone, everyone like knowing this, like people are trying to take like Charlie's pictures or like like other mechanics are like, looking at him. R riders are other drivers are coming up to like say hello. Charlie's blowing everybody off. Uh, like my gun, like I accidentally like my gun probably falls out of my holster because I don't know how to use one. <laughs> so like I never put it in in the first place. I probably couldn't hit Dickens in the shop if I had tried. And um, and so like I probably falls out at some point. Like a bunch of people like take pictures while it does. I pick it up and put it back in and flip them off. Well, like, uh, I, no, I'll, I'll pick up the gun and put it in my holster. Be like, oh, yeah. my bad, sorry. Yeah, as I, as I like, smoke on, like, my e sync again. I'm, and then um, as we're going back, the scene is just, like, uh, Charlie being, like, double-checking everything with Matt to the point where I'm, like, annoying. Uh, yeah. yeah. Like, wheels. You pick that, fix that squeak front right wheel, right? I did that yesterday. You, you know. Planes are going overhead. Uh, and then... Um, yeah, so all, all of that, I don't know. I don't think Charlie has anything else to say. Uh, I think Charlie looks. And then I point at the I point at the wheel and like a little a little switch. I'm like I flip it up with my thumb and there's like the quintessential red button there. I'm like, only in emergencies. If you Charlie need knows. if you need an extra boost to do one of those sweet jumps that you did last time. That. Look, Matt. Look it down. Wait, Matt, Matt, Matt. We haven't we haven't talked about this. 
And now I'm realizing that we probably should have. Because once the race is over, I'm done. But you're still here. Granted, if the planet is or isn't is a whole different thing. But you're still here. Yep. And I put in a good word with my contacts and those that I know to get you placed under a good driver if you want. I don't know if you have other jobs set up. But you can be a mechanic for the best drivers around after me, of course. Have you given us any thought? I think after this race, I'm done too. My first home blew up. I won't let my second home blow up. Um, and I know the things I said about Mars, and I still stand by them. I would be upset if you blew up with it. If it blows up... If it blows up, if everything goes to hell, and Church lives, Wolfgang Bachman put a bullet between his eyes. Junior. Senior's cool. (laughs) Probably just nods as if he has any idea what you're actually talking about. And um, that's the guy that wrecked our shit. Am I the only one who thinks Charlie is maybe more of a douche than Dickens? <laughs> <laughs> naive. Charlie's naive. Uh, he's cruel by negligence. I have a goal. I have one thing that I can't. <laughs> Everything else can kind of go to the side. Listen, Charlie. Uh, yeah, so just like Dickens, except yours is a person and his is his money. Yeah, yeah. my my goal is good. Yeah, yeah. Charlie, it's a thing of like same coin, same is different size, the same credit stick, yeah. my friends. It's a thing of like I I, I decide the difference, uh, define the difference. Like Dickens is is cruel intentionally. Like he goes, this piece is sacrificable. Mm. Charlie just doesn't think about it. You're Harvey Dent, I'm Batman. It's People, just... he just doesn't care who gets hurt. <laughs> yeah. Whereas Dickens is like that person is an acceptable loss. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, Charlie, if you win this race, you get off the planet, right? I better. No one wants you off this planet more than I do. You do. Oh. Wait, I want want you to say. No one wants wants you off this planet more than I do. Sounds like looking at that, it's like, can we cut out on that line? Like, yeah. Are we done? Yeah, I don't think that scene can get better. I think Charlie just like understands, like it's totally, totally fine. Yeah. yeah. Um, the, 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 it's implied after that scene that there was a big hug and it was really gay. It's like, uh, yeah, it's it's like the Shaq Kobe relationship. Uh, we don't have to. We can work well together, yeah. but we don't have to like each other. Yeah. yeah they, 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 well, like you, yeah. you were a pain in the ass. There was no hug, <laughs> but it was still super gay. But well, we still put up yeah. 50 points in the game. Yeah. Like, oh my god, I should get this yeah. Yeah. It's a level up, right? You unlock the magic missile ability. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. You're welcome. Um, Sorry, Eric. <laughs> so, can we, as scene cuts, can I paint this scene? Because I have a really cool idea for this meeting room. Uh, I feel like we need to start the race now, but then we'll cut back over, okay? Okay. Yeah, I feel I like really dealing like, with Papa really kind like of cutting, feels really like, like the mission, to be honest. All right. Yeah. Like, I mean, if we're starting the mission clock, I have a move I need to roll. Okay. Uh, make uh, a move. Okay. So I, for my last advance, because I am a scheming son of a bitch, took. I love it when a plan comes together. I will broadcast yes. that for the chat. At the start <laughs> of a mission, I get to roll oh. edge. <laughs> Um, and depending how well I do, I get to have hold that can do awesome things. Holy shit! (laughs) 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 Dang. It's fucking Bachman Sr. He fucking saw through your shit. So, on a a miss, (laughs) on a miss, I still get one (gasps) hold from my move, but the legwork clock advances because, yeah, Bachman Sr., Having now been, having now realized the dude on his ship is Big Papa is moving ahead of me. Yeah, uh, cause we go back over to, um... Yeah. You fucking told him what you were doing. You I handed know. it to him. Yep, <laughs> of course. So, Dickens yeah, is, uh, yeah. Dickens no. has realized lying to people is actually not the most, is telling them the truth yeah. about who he is is effective. And so, we, yeah, so we, I think we hear, um, 
Bachman Sr. go. Um, Denise, get the jet ready. <laughs> Good. It seems like my subordinates have had a uh, a little bit of a rodeo going on under our nose on race okay. day. Some independent thinking is happening, and I don't <laughs> like it. <laughs> All right, so I have one plan hold. God, I, the, there was... I think it was the thing of, I took this move for the last session and I just, I didn't want to roll a seven to nine. I either wanted the three hold or I wanted the fail. <laughs> Cause the middle is boring. Um, all right. And uh, yeah, so I think I think also then we, before we cut to your, your meeting, we see um, Bachman Jr. and Big Papa and we catch like the very end of whatever they were talking about. And it says something to being like, well, obviously due to security constraints, some of our research has to be sacrificed in the explosion, but retrieval of the second half of the virtual intelligence would be more than enough to be satisfactory for recreating it on broader scales. And uh, and Big Papas is like looking at him, being like, "Yeah, but what about the money?" And he's and he's like, <laughs> "Money, you'll be king of Europa." And um, we cut back over down to the race let me move us over for a little bit oh 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 dear so um the racetrack is it's it circles around the olympus mons surprise uh -huh. um, sushi revolver these Good. are the these are the the fight the um finalists going on i tried to <laughs> i tried to pick the right car that looked like the brooklyn i thought i did a pretty good job <laughs> And um, it's good. It's good. I like this. this. Is can I name this... the green one? Uh, they all have names, but if you want to, do they? Yeah, I can only see names on three of them. Yeah, I can only see names on the other Are two. Are you kidding me? Two Hold others. on a second. Really? I just think you've. I just think you've got nameplates not set to show. That I see. Be easy enough to I see. That. Sushi no. Revolver, Shadow Protocol, and the Brooklyn. Yeah. There oh, we go. Yeah. Crumb Surfer. Crumb Surfer. Oh my bad. Animal killers. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> daddy. That's like middle schoolers came up with the metal band name. I yeah. refuse. So are we are we about are we about to do a Chris Perkins and each of us drives one of the each of us gets to control one of the other cars? <laughs> Good reference. Good reference. Oh god. So Call who, who, who wants to be who who wants to be who in this race? Oh, I'm I'm sushi revolver. Cannibal Kelly's Steel Daddy! I'll be Chrome Surfer. <laughs> All right. Um, everybody should have access to to look at the... the con they're controlled by everybody. So pick your car yeah. and then write your name underneath in the in the nameplate as well so we know uh, who's who. How do I... Oh, Steel Daddy. Uh, I, was really, I was really proud of myself for Steel Daddy. I really like Steel Daddy. <laughs> That's pretty good. I'm gonna fuck um, you up, Andrew. And you, yeah, you can change the. I also color tinted some of them. You can change that color if you if you want. But um, ultimately, I like green. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Chat, y'all can call me Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> you would stay still, Daddy. You yes, would. yes, I would. Oh, you put this in front oh, of me, dear. Eric, and you expected this not to happen. That's which on means you. Eric yeah. gets to be cannibal killers. <laughs> Hell yeah. Eric, that doesn't that doesn't fill me with trust for your bed and breakfast venture. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, well, just, we'll see. I just I just want to call out Zonala in the chat here. Steal Daddy on the streets. Silk Mommy in the sheets. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Mwah. Amazing. You're a beautiful, beautiful human being. That's pretty freaking awesome. All right, let's get let's get this Mad Max shit off off the ground. Yeah. yeah. All right. So here's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be. Okay. Let's see if this works. Can we? See oh that? fuck okay. yes, Eric. Oh, I'm so excited. Are we not? I might have to. I might have to expand this out. I didn't. Oh, I'm, God. I'm improvising this. We're doing it live! <laughs> I have to get everybody okay. on a screen, then for us to... Let's see, let's do this. 
and if we can all read this. All right, we don't have to read uh, it immediately, but ultimately we're gonna be doing Firebrands as style chases. There we go. Uh, okay. And this is how it's going so, to work. So um, we're gonna be, so the way this, the order of operations of the race is going to work is that we're going to first roll to determine our position in the race, and then you're gonna uh -huh. be challenging the person in front of you um, uh, to, to basically get ahead. Um, and you're gonna be yeah. uh, basically pushing each other, vying for that, getting coins, and the person with the most coins wins. Okay. And um, so, so, each, I have to... so the way this is going, the way this is gonna work is that um, there's gonna be you. Each person's going to do three missions because there's three laps, and so this is sort of like the the apex of each of these laps. It's sort of like yeah. your your integral thing. Mm. And so you target it to the person behind you. Because mm -hmm. you're challenging them to, yeah, cool. Because they oh. are, yeah, they're the person there. Okay. Yeah, so we go, so we start at the front and we go back and then we go back around and then we. Yeah. So yeah, I think, easy. I think everybody, so I think the way to do this would be to everyone defy danger first as sort of the order, the issue of. I think of, Charlie's in the lead. Of 2d6, of Charlie. Yeah. Okay. That's fair too. Let's start with yeah. Charlie. I just think like, I just think fictionally like it, you know, we've, yeah. we've I mean, kind of set it up. Yeah. I think Charlie's, I okay. think Charlie's. Yeah, I mean, the, I'm seeing this No, I'm positioned. Yeah, the beginning of this session was Charlie was the favorite, and that was being manipulated. So Charlie in the lead, and everyone wanting to kill him. Yeah, makes a lot of sense. Yeah, Seems so small. Charlie, Charlie's in the lead, followed by. Uh, the I just... think sushi. I think sushi revolver is 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 behind Charlie. We could yeah. just, we're just going to run overlay order. Um, are we not rolling to see who's next? I figured. I thought we were just going to roll to see who goes. And who are yeah. I mean, what's roll 2d6 to the right to get side. the value, who has the highest Just value. Roll the, I actually yeah. thought that that was. You plead me in driver's Or 20 yeah. yeah. Roll initiative, basically. Eight. Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 well, Drummer Boy, you're last. You, can't, you don't know how to roll. So you have problem. Drummer Boy has problems at the start. No, you have problems at the start. Fuck that. Drummer Boy stalls. Don't, don't stole. penalize me for being new. What are you, some kind of gatekeeper, you dumb <laughs> <laughs> Eric, don't I, forget, you gotta roll for cannibal killers. I know, but is... All right, what do you guys... Um, fam, what do you think? Do you think... I think I think I might just be pulling your leg. You can have a 10. I feel like yeah. that's... I won't. Uh, I, I really want... Because I, mean, I, I fucking care. can't roll either, so there you go. <laughs> 2.67. 67 <laughs> uh, so That's fucking worth it. Yeah. And then... That was a really bad roll for a... For a 2d6. Ashley. Yeah. Okay. We can put it on uh, the map. Oh, I have to put this on the map. There we go. Um, we best not forget my I feel seat. like doing it, Eric, I feel like doing it this way is gonna be like more visually. Yeah, if we just run down. Yeah, I just have to bring everyone up yeah. one and then we're good. Oh yeah. my my spoiler Sorry. is uh Yeah, you lost the spoiler. Go. There we go. It's back <laughs> on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, let's, so let's, let's fucking try this out. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, um, Luke, let's, let's lead with you and, and against the Brooklyn here. So All we're right, going so to be, I, so, re yeah. So I pick a challenge. Oh, yes. actually, hang a minute. Chrome Surfer is above. Drummer Boy is yeah. closest to Charlie. Oh, that's right. Cause you rolled a 10. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So here's so how, is so. he, so does Charlie pick a challenge? Or does Chrome Surfer pick a challenge? It's, it's, it's the quarry time. conducts the chase. So yeah, yeah. So Charlie picks a challenge Charlie's being for chased. Chrome yeah. Surfer. Yes. All right. So, so I read I read through these and I pick one. So you have to pick yep. pick one of these challenges and then describe it as part of the race of what we're doing. And you can take very liberal use of what these things mean. So right. for example, um, you know, I race along a high and perilous ledge. That's pretty obvious. Um, but if you go through a thorny I, briar, that could be like a cave with like stalagmites up around. It could be, yeah. you know, like a rocky terrain. It, you know, it could be like through us through like an urban like research center thing. You know, like you can feel free to expand on what these things can yeah. mean, um, and, right. and, well, and and go to town on it. I'm just gonna roll a one d seven and we'll, we'll fly right, with that's it. That's a solid plan. I press through a thorny briar. Follow me if you want. So I think this is uh, the first the first leg of the race goes through a tunnel. Uh, yeah. The natural Ooh. cave on Mars. For uh, sure. Like the giant so like, like, like coming up. And... Yeah, and it goes like mostly down into Mars for a couple of miles. 
mm. uh, probably a solid like 100 miles or so. I don't know how how much sure. distance we're going, but um, follow me if you want. But I don't know what throw means. I'm tails. You tank. We it's, heads or tails. One day two. One day two. Uh, yeah. So I think it's gonna be like a, a cavernous a cavernous tunnel that kind of looks like uh, Swiss cheese, and you can kind of like <laughs> yeah uh, yeah totally. Uh, let's just lucky, pull like every a set piece from front uh, from Fast and Furious. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say that. I like, I oh, the, um, the, the tunnel thinking. between I'm Mexico gonna... and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm be pulling it's the tunnel. I was. I'm pulling from from in episode one. Yeah, I'm pulling from the Padres in episode one. Yeah. Like I don't know what you yeah. guys are doing. Look, I'm gonna be pulling all my shit from fucking Mad Max. So yeah. like you know like all yeah. of, all but, of this is acceptable. Weapons are acceptable. Right. I mean, um, steel is, daddy everything goes from here. <laughs> if you want to say that a corporate and like, if you want to say a like, corporation is like interfering with the race somehow and set something up, that's fair too. Mm -hmm. Like everything is here around to have fun and play with together. Okay. So yeah. that's, that's the first challenge. Yeah. So what do so, I do? So now drama boy tosses. Yep. Yeah. If, if you want to oh, tails. So, um, you see, so, oh, uh, Charlie gets coin. Yeah. So you, so you press through this cave, right? Uh, you're you're in, they're they're tracing you through, and um, on tails you're tangled and torn. You must extract yourself, and you gain a coin. So yeah, you does like, that mean? So what does, does that, that mean that like? I? Does that mean that I pass, yeah. Matt? Yeah, of course. Um, yes. But what does that what does that look like? Right, because you like, can't be torn in this briar. So what does what does this look like in the caves? What 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 stalls you out? Why can't right? Well, it's. It's underground, right? Underground Mars, no less. So, like, it's super cold. So, I think there's a patch of black ice. Like, there's, an, there's like, moisture and, like, really crunchy stuff. So, like, I'm trying to follow in his uh, in his tail or his tire tracks as much as possible because he, he's, like, patting down something. But it's too quick. Like, he throws sideways a little bit and it throws some dirt in the way. And just, I'm just, like, kind of squealing a little bit. Yeah, that slows me down. It slows me down to like the Mario Kart like rough terrain. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah, the, the rumble patch, the rumble patch. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. And so then everyone else, you, we hear the 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 Doppler effect of the engine start roaring by, and you try to like get back into the into the mix, right? Yeah. Cool. So like, are getting coins good or bad? Good. Most coins wins. Yeah. yeah. Most coins wins. So most failures win. No, no, no. no, so so you, no. Charlie gets the coin. Charlie gets the coin. Charlie yeah. gets the coin. Okay, that makes more sense. Uh, so, so, do we have someone keeping track of coins? Um, I'm just doing just, you doing that, just, right? mm, Yeah, I'll keep track of it. So, okay. Oh. Yeah, so, yeah. So, that. Charlie doesn't. You don't gain a coin from that. You know, Charlie gains a coin. Oh, he it's, does. Uh, if you win, if it wins, you get a yeah. coin. Cool. Perfect. Uh, yeah. So, right. uh, yeah, it's uh, on tails. You're tangled a tour must distract yourself, and I gain a coin. Nice. Okay. Perfect. So you get a coin. So you are still in a good, solid uh, positional advantage here, Charlie. Um, okay. I'm gonna lead them through. I'll lead people through. And um, do we want to do this randomly, or does somebody just want to like step forward, or should we go down the list? I mean, so, uh, so uh, I don't want. I thought. Okay. So are we going? Are we moving order through the thing, or are we just going to go in the order we established to begin with? Because if the order we established earlier, it's drum boy next. It's drum boy next. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. Yeah. And um, furthermore. Uh, you know, if you spin out, like, in those types of things, you might actually drop more, like, if it makes sense fictionally, right? Yeah, like, let's, I think let's because fun. I lost, I lose a position, so I'm challenging the person behind me. Yeah. So I'm challenging, as third place, I'm challenging fourth place. We're literally game designing on the fly. I know, right? It's so good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, how about, should we just do, if you lose twice, you you spin out of the race? Just gone. Yeah. Yeah, that, that makes perfect sense. You crash and blow up. Or okay, you, so yeah, you spin out, our, you shake your hands. By our new order. Brooklyn. Yeah. Okay, so I know this ground well. Follow me if you dare, but throw on tails. You're plunging. What? Into, you're plunging I'm heedless into danger, danger, and I did not choose any admissions in the chase after all. Good, because okay. I never explained admissions. Admissions are the bad choices we have to make at the end, which would okay. uh, throw things. Well, so or, maybe, so maybe if we if we just take a moment. Maybe what happens is if you get fucked and spin out by your by the like the quarry picks a challenge, you fail to meet the challenge. Maybe you then have to pick an admission. Admission. Oh. That gives advantage to the person behind you. Yeah. 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 We're doing that. Let's do that, fam. That's super good. Right. So look in which, us, in which case, I'm still. Yeah. So in which case, I am still behind Drummer Boy, 
Yeah. All so right. he needs to pick an admission as I like press from behind, right? Yeah. Oh, I slip on treacherous ground. No, duh. That yeah. makes sense. Throw on heads. Yeah. Okay. Slash okay, R. So, so is that, uh, does, so who throws? Is that I throw? You, throw. you do. Yeah. yeah. So he's, yep, this, cool. this is, this is facing you, which makes, this makes perfect sense. So, um, yeah. So you're spinning I'm in out. A position to, yeah. And, yeah, and I'm yeah. in a position to then take That's advantage. Yeah, yeah, we we yeah. cut to the Chrome surfers, you know, like switching the gears from like reverse and stuff and does like that fishtail and like revs the, the trying to lose as minimal, as little momentum as possible to like skirt back yeah. in and let's see what it looks like. Right. Oh, oh tails. that's the tails, though. Okay. Um, so, we, so okay, no. so we're just doing. So I just don't get anything. No. So, we, so you're back in the. Bad. Yeah. Are we doing? Yeah, so you don't bad lose. Happens, but, nothing I bad just happens. Don't to you. Yeah. Press my advantage. Yeah. So you're able to. So you get in that rumble patch, right? But then you're able to not lose a lot of momentum, and you stay in, right? So my you keep my going. question is: that makes sense. If We've got six players. Is it yeah. like? Is it just if you throw two tails, you spin out? Is that might mm. be. Regardless. Maybe I think we're just think I think we're just negotiating from good. the fiction. Yeah, okay. yeah um, exactly. All right, so just keep going. Okay, cool. So, yeah, challenge me. So I yeah, I've got a challenge for you. Uh, steal quote unquote steal daddy. Um, I lead a dizzying course through switch black, switch back and blind. Follow me if you want, but throw on a tails. You're lost and won't find your own way back. I mean, and I think what this looks like is I think we come up, like we rev up out of the tunnels into like the blinding like sunlight. Um, and I think then we're into like the canyons. Um, yeah, the gorges. And I think it's yeah. like this dizzying, like maze-like array of just like little, little tunnels and okay. well, not tunnels, but little canyons and the like, and like obstacles in the way. And I basically just try and like lose, lead you off in the wrong direction, and then leave you in the dust. It's it's behind. dried. It's uh it's dried basins. It's 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 old uh riverbeds, that that spidery yeah, totally spidery riverbeds. Yeah, uh, you know. Yeah. There's no. There is and no. So, yeah. If you, if you take one of the wrong ones, you get stuck in a dead end. Yeah. But for you sure. See, there is so, nowhere dads prefer to be except right up on grills. What? <laughs> Tit. It's bad. It's bad. Admission. Yeah. So, so you on lose tails, them. I just yeah, get lost. On tails, you're lost and you won't find your own way back. Um. Am I? That sounds like maybe out of the race. Right? Yeah, that sounds like, like I just get lost in the canyons. I so do you Daddy... narrate how still... Steel Daddy explodes or, or gets lost or yeah? I mean, this is, I don't think he doesn't explode. He just, he like drops a little behind um, yeah. and like comes against a, a left right decision, goes right when when uh, the Chrome Surfer, uh, sorry, the Sushi Revolve went left and then just is lost in the maze of these canyons. Because it keeps going, yeah. Yeah, and he just, he's like, I'm still in the race. I'm so, he's been going in a circle for an hour. I'm still in the race, I'm still in the race. <laughs> yeah, okay. So then for those purposes, then we're going he's to ignore Still Daddy. Yeah. I feel like it would be really cool to, okay, yeah, that's awesome. Okay, cool. Um, So now we go to Sushi Man. Cannibal Killers. Yeah. Oh, it goes to me. Oh. <laughs> Yep. So, so um, is this is this sushi revolver issuing a challenge to cannibal killers? No, because I've just issued you one. Yeah, but yeah. I'm out. Actually, yeah, it's a good point, Eric. It's up to you. So I think this would actually be back to you then, because yeah, because I don't oh, have cool. to. I don't have to. I don't have to contest Steel Daddy's Lost in the Canyons. Or right? is, it, is it? I, I is like it a... I zoom by like I I imagine I imagine cannibal killers is very very like guar. Like, like they have like a yeah. very like just like Mad Max spiky monstrous kind of looking things like on purpose frilled spines like sticking out of <laughs> all the sides of it and I just like laugh as I like gun it to like sixth gear or whatever because there's always gears to rev into in this game yeah yeah and uh, um and I absolutely um like laugh knowing that you just got lost as I and I cut I set my sights on your the rear lights of sushi as you take the right yeah you take yeah. the correct fork in the thing exactly uh, I think there's only one option that makes sense here. The yeah, by the uh, way, which is... uh, Cannibal Killers looks like the Batmobile from The Dark Knight, only like Mad Maxified. It's like it's the fucking thinking. Tumblr. Yeah, yeah I love exactly. It. Like, I love the exactly. Tumblr with spikes. Yeah, yeah, totally. So I, I, I think what makes sense here, because we've already established that I'm good at switch black and blind. Yeah. Uh, I know this ground well. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, this canyon is my fucking turf. Uh, Eric, follow me if you dare, but throw. <laughs> oh, I know what's it's up. Good. Yeah. 
um, you know what's up. You know yeah, what's up. so I know what it is. Is that um, you lose? So, so we see it from the the sights of Sushi Revolver, like looking behind, like you know, you can't see me and stuff. And mm. then we just see that thing of like the tumbler, like doing like the boost, like over a ridge and yeah, like comes back totally. down, like near you, and comes like right back behind you, like on like, and you have to like veer as I get close to ram you, and you just like defensively drive for a second. I'm like right on your tail. I like, laugh like ah, I got cool. you now. As uh, there we go. All right, and then you've got to choose sure. a challenge for scoop. Yeah. Well, not actually uh, Scoop. But, uh, no, the Shadow Protocol. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, yeah. this is perfect. Uh, I leap out over nothing and make a hard, yeah. precarious landing. Follow me if you dare, but throw. On heads, you gain a coin. On tails, though, you barely catch yourself. You're clinging on with all your uh, might, and the, the chase ends now with this, you at my mercy. Perfect. So, so I know what the Shadow Protocol looks like. Uh, the Shadow Protocol is an incredibly sleek, like, hover bike. Um, it's just like just a rider on a hover bike with little wings on it. Oh. Um, so yeah, it's just gonna, it's gonna come right up, cr right up over your, 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 your jumpy thingy. Nope. Oh. Goes bad. It goes bad. Oh no! So you Is try this... to make the same jump that I do and it gets fucked up. So. I mean, the Steel Daddy is just lost because he refused to ask for directions. <laughs> Shadow Protocol hits a cliff. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is it a cliff? Yeah. Do you hit a cliff and explode, or what is mm -hmm. it? Well, there's yeah. an there's an admission that says I come to a dangerous climb or leap and I hesitate. Um. Yeah, but no one. I mean, but no one. So Shadow no one. Protocol? No one is behind. Um, oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. So an admission um, doesn't make sense. What What I think. What I think the I feel, the, yeah, thing of the jump is is I think this is actually climbing up the side of the plateau. Yeah, the switchback and stuff. Mountain. Yeah. So uh, we were we were navigating through like the the river beds of mm -hmm. Mars. Um and now we're like making the the ascension. Yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah, let's be real. Let's be real, Eric. Basically. They're lava they're lava beds. Okay. Right? Like let's be real here. Okay. That's what they were long, long ago. Um, and so, so and it's with from the going now. through these lava beds into basically a 90 degree climb up <laughs> the side of the plateau. Um, and and you know, the, Eric, your your car just goes goes up and because it's this huge meaty um, yeah. tumbler vehicle, it's just like talking its way up. Um, but the hover bike hover bike just loses it and like the nose falls out and then it just, just falls down. Wilhelm like, scream. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Fuck. Obligatory Fuck. Wilhelm scream of the show. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So Alright, round two. Charlie. Yeah. I do the same thing I did before, pick a challenge and Yep. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Uh, so Charlie, let's see. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. I think I'm gonna. I think Charlie sees open ground and hits the nas. Mm. <laughs> nice. That's it. Yeah, that's it. I don't know. Do I do anything? Do I have to roll or something? Or no, it's, uh, I have so no idea what we're doing. That's, I mean, yeah. So I reach open ground and leap yeah. away. So Follow you, you can... yeah. So in other words, you are the quarry. You're the one being hunted. Think of it that mm. way. And so it's always the person behind you who's pursuing. Yeah, you say, your "Hey, car. drama boy, fuck you, top this." Yeah, yeah. basically. Right. Okay. This, the the aerial shot is like you le like leaving the gap in the canyon and then just like slamming the. Well, well, no, no. Extra... So this, this is this is when. Um, when we get, I think this is when he tips over the edge, right? He's on top right, of the yeah. plateau now. Yeah, and, and you're like tipping over the top of the the the, cl the cliff. The wheels hit the ground, and then the nos hits in, and yeah. like leave yeah. the fire trail. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's more like yeah. So the scene, I I hit the ground, and you can see all my like gauges and stuff are like starting to overheat, and I'm yeah. like Charlie's like fuck it, and Charlie like you see Charlie like shift aggressively like three times. Uh, but like the third shift like breaks, so he fucking skips it and he goes into twenty second gear. Uh, and <laughs> you see like second gear. Comes yeah. out, like the front left or the front right like tire or like wheel thing again or thrust or whatever you would fucking call it in space. Yeah. 
and, like smoke starts to come out of that and that squeaky wheel and Charlie just like gets squint eyed uh, and just bursts it, uh, kicking it everything that she's got. All and, right. And then I look oh. back at who's ever behind me, I flip you off. So Chrome yep. Surfer, can you ride that wave? <laughs> So what am I doing exactly? You, so you toss. If you want, you yeah. toss. Uh, either, if, you want, if you want to follow, you toss. Yeah. Chicken out or toss coin. Yeah. Oh, we Let's totally. Oh man. Heads. Ooh. Oh. So you're still in he it. Follows. So He's does, still in it. Does Charlie to make an admission? Um. You reach nope. open ground, leap away. Follow me if you could. But throw on tails. You stand gasping. I gain a coin. No. So just there's no coin gain. Yeah. So drama okay. boy just like the race order is maintained. Drama boy now challenges me. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, How do I? What do I got? What do I got to do, uh, buddy? Lay it on me. Race along the high and perilous ledge. Follow me if you dare, but throw on tails. You have to slow down and pick your way along, and I get a coin. All right. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna fucking follow you. Fuck it. Ah! <laughs> oh no! It's a perilous ledge. So what does this look like? Um. Do you have to. Di you're probably I still in think, it. Oh, like, fuck. You... Okay, okay. So here, here's what it is, right? Like, I reach the top of the incline, and the car, like, is, like, the full, it's it's fulcrum on a lever, right? Like, I can't quite tip all the way over to land on safe ground. And so the car is just, like, rocking back and forward on the edge of the plateau. Um, Yeah, so Eric, here is an admission uh, for you. Um, <laughs> I slip on treacherous. Uh, actually, hang on a minute. I just want to quickly check that there's not a more appropriate one. Um, oh yeah, totally. Uh, yeah, I slip on dangerous ground and scramble to cr scramble to keep my footing. Throw. Oh uh, boy, and this is me making that same climb and big uh, getting ready yep. to get over you. Yep. Yeah, and nothing bad can happen because it's an admission. Like you've got nothing to lose. Yeah, but. I feel like I'm going to be. I'm going to add insult to injury and try to knock you off the ledge by doing this. I, right? Yeah, I, fuck right? you. Like, okay. Of course I am. I'm the fucking. I'm the bruiser. I'm the of this of this race. I'm that. I'm the. I'm the Mad Max bruiser. I mean, uh, car. The name. Hang the on a name minute, though. Like, if I'm if I'm scrambling like this. Murder. If I if if I'm balancing. Oh yeah, I totally the risk direction your... you can apply force from is behind, which yeah. will knock me forward. Yeah, like, I know, no but I still have to fuck up your car. Off. I know, but I get to fuck up your car, and I can't resist. That's it. true. That's true. Yeah. So I got a one. I got a. I got a heads. All right, on heads, you slide to overtake me and gain two coins. Yeah. So I totally knock you off the 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 ledge part to like get you right up, but like I like yeah. you your car jeers and and it jiggers and it, it's like smoking and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I go you probably, spinning probably off get to the side. Yeah, like you could probably yeah. stay in the race and all that stuff, but like I totally pass you. Oh yeah. Um, oh, right. Yeah. Like I pass you and um. Yeah, and I just like laugh as I as I um, kick in the burners and, and keep going, but um, cool. Oh no! But then this is you to catch up to me. This, um, is you, you, is you, this is you gaining on me again, isn't it? Uh, I feel I feel like I'm gonna see that. I don't think that makes sense. I think I'm just gonna give it challenge for. Um... Actually, no, it is. Yeah, because I'm at the end of the round. So um... no, I think that's just the end of the round. I think we go back to the top. Okay, that makes sense. Cool. So this is this is coming in for the end of the first lap. So Charlie. So I'm a, I'm slightly confused on these makeshift rules that we're shitting out. Should, yeah. I, should I be collecting coins? Yeah, I'm keeping track of it. Oh, I'm collecting coins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. It's it's also, we're also basically doing it by position. So like either mm -hmm. yeah, right. As long as you don't blow out. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so now I just do another challenge. I just did the yep. same thing. Yep. Keep doing. Okay. Yep. Your uh, challenge. You. Oh. You and Chrome Surfer have been just like fighting. Mm -hmm. You know. But uh, you you've could... you've been secured in that lead up front. But you know you just not been able to shake Chrome. So what do mm. you do? I, uh, I think. Uh, I think I'm gonna go. Uh, the last one. I'm gonna leap out over nothing and make a hard precarious landing. I think it's at this aggressive stage where the Brooklyn has gotten too much air. And it's not entirely sure how to deal with it. <laughs> uh, when we hit a slight ledge, which normally wouldn't be an issue, you would just go down with the limited gravity that Mars has. Uh, but you would just shoot. The Brooklyn just overshoots, and Charlie's not sure how to go about it. And it like does like a 180, which Charlie has to like reshift and shift out. 
uh, and uh, probably like a rock or something random debris like hits the windshield and there's a huge crack in it and Charlie flips the car around to land precari precariously as the challenge says uh, and uh, we'll see if you do that as well. Follow me if you dare but throw on heads you gain a coin on tails you barely catch yourself. Let's do it. Case ends now with you at my mercy apparently. Which I think means in this tails. context the car is fucked. Yeah for yeah, sure. Right? Like so this is like, the I failed. So like, what I'm what I'm seeing this looking like is you you go off with the jump. I can see you ahead of me. Mm -hmm. you, you get some air and like you start to flip and you land backwards and I land forwards and we're meeting like bumper to like like this going along. Mm -hmm. And then like yeah. the the stone that gets thrown off yours hits my windshield and I'm just like <sighs> yeah. And then yeah. I, you overcompensate. I like of, and like yeah, I do one of those like slow motion. Hits the, the nose, digs into the Martian surface, and like does the motion flip. Well, he's doing a rock verb to take all the way around back to the 180 to speed off. It's yeah. Sepulpa. And, and all these like. Yeah, yeah Sepulpa. Pretty much. <laughs> oh, is this all right? That's hard oh, racing. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and, yeah. Uh, all, all these major moves that Charlie's been doing were like the same like major moves that he did in the preliminary rounds. They're just like violent versions of. Same ones. Yeah. And he's doing like the same like high in the air, desperate land, but now with like the aggressive like yeah. shit on it. And now I'm like putting other people's lives in danger where before I like yeah, Charlie kinda was okay about that, but now I'm like actively like putting that guy in danger, killing uh <laughs> He didn't have to thing. follow you. How's it yeah. how's it feel to murder people for your personal gains, Charlie? <laughs> it feels good. <laughs> Eric, where's the coin count at? So I believe it's I think one for Charlie, two one. for you. Got technically got two for the admission, but you're still behind. Yeah, yeah. which is the weird. Yeah. So I um, I feel like I'm out of the race. I think I think Sushi Revolver has just fallen too far behind. Like I think it. I think it's just down to the two of you. Okay, let's do um, that. Yeah, and I I feel almost like it's just a series of challenges by Charlie to see if you can like. Like maybe maybe now we just shift to the default chase rules because there's only two people left, right? But may, may I suggest we shift. Charlie to the is the quarry, and he picks rules. three yeah. challenges, and one admission. May, All right. Should we just do half, just for time? Yeah, well, half. That's actually yeah. a good point. So, Let's do half. so maybe Charlie starts with a. You, Charlie, you have to pick one challenge and one admission before the end of this race, in whichever order you would like. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Because I still have no it's idea just, what's going on. Yeah. Gonna, it's just you and it's just yeah. you and so, Cannibal Killer left in the race. The only, the so only people left in the race are you and me, right? Mm -hmm. It's the Cannibal Killers, the the, the Mad Max Tumbler against the Brooklyn. Uh, we're coming into the 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 final leg of the race, right? Like the, yeah. the last half of it. Yeah, so, I think so we've like we've like sped across uh, the Olympus Mons or like around the edge or yeah. wherever. The, we're coming the back. Yes. Yeah. And uh, now I'm gonna go over the uh, the steep incline, but it's gonna be the reverse of that. It's gonna be the decline. Ooh. Uh, side of it, and uh -huh. uh, Charlie, Charlie leads you through something that had incline in it. Now that I have to find it. Ah, I scrambled down a steep decline. Follow me if you can keep up. But throw, uh, but throw on tails. The way is exhausting, and I gain a coin. <laughs> so I imagine this is also like because we're going yeah. Because now we are going down in the low gravity. It's really hard. We actually we cannot use our car's full power to do what we want. Uh, like we have to be more um, conservative because we're like going down a hill, gaining speed and making turns and going around stuff, rather than uh, just letting our engines do the talking. It's, this is really the technical part of the race uh, for driving. And uh, yeah, so I got to throw. Um, do I want heads or tails? Uh, heads, I think. Uh, yeah. Fuck yeah. On um, tails, I gain a coin. So yeah. Yeah. So, so oh, I'm so. Yeah, so you, you lead me through, like, I think you pick the hardest, like, part of the, the downhill part to, to go around and zigzagging. And I think rather than me being a very technical driver, because you're dodging through that stuff, I am just, like, busting through some of those rocks that you're dodging. I am yeah, just, yeah, totally. Like, like a bigger car. Yeah, yeah, and I'm just like, boom. Like, we, we, like you just occasionally like just see it behind right it's like boom in, in the in the boom as they're getting closer and through the rubble and stuff you just see the tumbler 
uh, keep going. Uh, with a big, huge skull of the cannibal killers on it. Yeah, like Charlie. He's like, I'm Charlie, coming like, for you, Arthur. Around. I'm coming for you. And like, yeah, he's, Charlie, he revs Charlie it up. like dodges around like a big rock pillar, yeah. and then like there's like a beat of like nothing, and he like turns to look behind, and then it just like you yeah, smash you... through the pillar. <laughs> yeah, and there's like dust and rubble. Exactly, everywhere. exactly. And the Mad Max like music is playing. Yeah, yeah. and and there's like, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, Can totally, I... totally. Can I make a suggestion? Because we are up against like protagonist versus NPC right now. I think but, this is the point at which we resort back to like, just act under pressure, right? Well, no, my, my suggestion is that the final, cause Charlie hasn't rolled in the race yet. And either That's we should have point. Charlie do an act under pressure or we should have this be an admission by the cannibal killers. As the cannibal killers like takes over in that last bit. And then this final stretch is, cause like, if I've done the maths right, there's no way Charlie can win by challenges and admissions anymore. Uh, yes. And I feel like also the most picture perfect version is him pipping Come the from behind. killers yeah. at the end. Yeah. So, okay. So let's do it that way. So the cannibal killers is, is in the lead, right? Yeah. So, so he, a, busts a, through a, the, he busts through the pillar. Fish. Yeah. I, I put in everything I got into this. Um, and let's see. I, I mean, obviously, I'm laughing my way to the finish line, which is fastly coming ahead. But I look back and you've somehow caught up. You're closer than I appear. Mm -hmm. um, you're nearer than I thought. Throw on heads. You put on a burst of speed and gain two coins. I desperately want to help. This is this is way. this is it. This is this is yeah. The can whole... we can we use the help move, Eric? <laughs> Please. <laughs> can we do All something to give him advantage. This, the whole campaign, everything towards what we've been working for on a coin flip. It's on a, a fucking coin it's flip. A fucking coin flip. It's like hard. No, I know. Do we? I know. It's, it's this is see. This is why I think like you. You've like, just described well, the fictional position of the admission. Mm -hmm. I think it, it should be act under pressure. It to is. Deal a, with it. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Like I feel like we're robbing. We're robbing mm -hmm. Sam of the oh, character. Yeah. The benefits of the fucking character yeah. he built. Otherwise. Yeah. Yeah. That seems fair. I, so this I agree. Is it. With that. So, my beautiful sexy bonuses. Yeah. All right. So this is it. This is everything. Uh, this is this I, is your drive. Okay. Charlie. Okay. Hold on. Yes. Good. Good. <laughs> Dickens, this is it. This is our, our wait, wait, we're riding on this. Okay. I'm in. Oh, come on. Come I'm on. In. God damn it. Right. <laughs> Don't forget to add the, the, um, the cars, whatever it is. Oh my fucking god. I got this. I think, I think that's I the right thing. Ah, the Olympus Good. Overdrive is mine! <laughs> <laughs> That's that a looked fucking good. That looked good. Yes! Yes! Uh, yes! Fucking hot yes! driver. Describe no. how you win the Olympus Overdrive. Uh, I think I can't hear with this on. <laughs> <laughs> I think Charlie. Uh, uh, Charlie uh, speeds through the the finals, and like the 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 windscreen uh, or the the glass of over the cockpit of the Brooklyn, like he ejects it. In the last like seconds just as it like goes up and it just flies up and Charlie like stands and he yeah. does like riding to the end stands <gasps> like, the Brooklyn like crashes because it's not like the brakes aren't being held like the chute doesn't open or like the, the anti-thrusters don't activate so I'm like I'm like uh George Washingtoning uh on the on the helm of the Brooklyn as like the nose <laughs> tipping, so it just yeah. breaks into ground and crashes at the end because I don't give a shit about the car the car's not mine uh, it just like goes and slides until it finally lurches at the end, um, and then I'll I'll hop off and drink a, a glass of milk. Do, do you literally walk across the finish line? <laughs> that would be badass. Fucking uh, a, I do so that. Yeah. So yeah, I think I'll I think I like I'll take my classic Charlie scarf, which I have, and just like throw it over my shoulder, which I keep knocking this thing down. <laughs> as I like walk across. Yeah. Uh, the list. Yes. Oh, that's so fucking good. And there's so many cameras that were just like flash, 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 flash. Yeah. Oh, nice. And we just see the sil the back, uh, yeah, the, the backlit uh, silhouette of Charlie standing at the edge of the, the finish line as the camera slowly pans back and we see the cam like all the different like flashes and the cheers and stuff. And um, holy shit. Well, let's do the rest of our mission.
That um, was pretty fucking dope. Can we do uh, hey break? Eric, hey Eric, can uh, can Dickens and I collect our winnings now, or shall we wait till later? Uh, you guys got to survive, so let's, I mean, let's wait on that. I mean, I like I like the image of like because I feel we might want to take just a very quick break, but like we cut to just Dickens sitting in like the room he's supposed to be meeting Big Papa in, and he just looks at his bank account balance and just it jumps <laughs> several zeros. He's like, nice lock, tucks in pocket. Yeah. Um, do we want to take a quick break? Yeah, let's do that. Um, so, guess what? Surprise break. We'll be back in uh, six minutes for, for the finale here. All right? Yes! So we'll see you guys on the other side. Game is so good. <laughs> They say distance makes the heart grow fonder. 